property ni Francisco Soc Rodrigo. One morning, Kula smoking and greeted his wife a pleasant morning, but Celine answered dryly. She was then news and envious about Kula's fighting cocks for they were the first thought of Kula's every morning. Kula's explained that he only cared for the cocks for their own good. Celine didn't believe anymore on Kula's reason, for he was always defeated by his opponent. Kulas always believed on his dream and thought that those dreams had signed that he would win the fight. Selene narrated all the dreams that Kulas told her but he didn't win. She was already sick with Kulas' reasons. He asked if he could give her money to spend for the cockfight. Kulas heard the shadow of people from the cockfight and he was really eager to get money. Selene had nothing to do but give him money and Kulas went the out of the house hurriedly. Teban commanded Celine to bet on Kula's opponent. This is her way to get the money of Kula spent in the summer for Kula's was always a loser. Celine was right. Kula went home defeated by his opponent. He promised never to bet again. Castor taught Kula some techniques how to win a fight in a way of cheating when Celine was out in the market. He will bet on his opponent's cock. Kulas went to the fight and bet, but this time he stake at his opponent's cock. Kulas was disappointed after the fight because his cock won. He went home and his wife asked him the money for his cock won. He said he lost the fight for he bet opponent's side. Selene was astonished and confessed her secret that every time Kulas go to the fight, she bet on his opponent. They have a good dinner at that time for Cox left for made adobo. The End